Hey guys, what is up? Dave here, coming back to you with a very interesting video for the channel today. So, I downloaded this for those of you who do not like downloading weird things that you don't trust from the internet. Recently, I believe it was April 22nd, there was a leak of CSGO and TF2 um, source code for, uh, or for the internet to download. Uh, long story short, from what I can piece together, I don't know if this is 100% true, so take it with a grain of salt. Long story short, somebody from Valve gave all this source code access to an owner of a Valve website uh, called, I think, Valve News Network or something like that, and he gave the source code slowly out to friends, and eventually it made its way public, just like it always does. I'm not 100% sure if that's the truth, but that's what I've gathered from my research, and downloading this and finding this was not that difficult. Um, hi kitty cat. So I wanted to go through it with you guys to save any of you guys the hassle who don't trust downloading weird things from the internet, and see what we find. See if this really is the full source code, uh, see what's in here, and just go from there. I would not be surprised if this video gets taken down because I am actually looking through the code that is definitely um, probably not legal to have. So first of all, we'll start with the text files and let's see what they are. These are various things I've collected over the years and the general public may get modding use various resources from them. I do not claim ownership to any of the contents listed here, and thus have nothing to do with them. Ah, and then this explained what they are. So f-stop, src master, and svn master are both related to the f-stop mod that's been around for a couple of years, contained a lot of content created by Lever Softworks, um, using inspiration and real knowledge of how the game acts and plays. There are, there's like 70 different iterations of the same thing with minor tweaking, but this was the most recent one laying around on the server. Very strange and can be improved on by whoever wants to continue it. Cool. Um, let's see what full, what, oh god, this is a lot of, okay. Full.zip, which is right here. Full, it's actually 7z, thank you. Full.zip is the entire Counter-Strike Global Offensive source code as of Operation Hydra and the TF2 source code as of Jungle Inferno. These were willingly held onto by a select few people, um, VNN, which is that Valve News Network, etc., and kept in a very small circle. It was some kind of medium for them to jerk off about having secret shit makes sense uh yeah i like screwing over assholes as well some weird schizoid managed to grab both these code bases during his work on some 900th attempt at hl2 vr and his major goal was to have this circle leak it to the public and fly to his girlfriend's house also involved in the valve community and kill himself and her Wow, this just got dark. Absolutely insane, and it's something to have a beer over and laugh about with your source modding friends. Source modding is something I've always wanted to get into. I just don't have, like, Counter-Strike or anything, so I haven't. Ended up getting arrested after she fled and cops had been called. A lot of interesting knowledge can be gained from these two code bases alone, and a lot of resourceful information can come of it. Go wild. All right, so that's that was interesting. Let's start with the 2016 Half-Life 3 related leaks. Oh, chat logs. Oh, boy. I'm not reading all that. Oh, God. Direct messages. Oh, my God. That's a megabyte in size for a text file. Explanation. Random stuff from VNN's involvement in this. Pro tip. Everything from that video is, in fact, real. And it... it oh. And knowledge of had been held on to since October 2016. I'm not very good at reading, if you can't tell. Random stuff is included if anyone wants to dig through it for a decent amount of context. Contains juicy bits. Was a guy from VR team at Valve leaking shit. Ooh. <laughs> this is 
all very old, so it doesn't matter, but still cool. I'll laugh if someone with more content wants to make fun of the random put together stuff in here by releasing more content related to it. Proof? Hmm, okay. Post you. That's weird. Huh. Nifty. So images, explanation, these are images. These are already public but are worthy of some explanation regardless since they tie into the project. There is a third picture which someone else can supply if they want, but I don't have it on me. This is a file directory listing of Valve VSS related to all of its gold source projects. Was used for some early Half-Life 2 content, HL2 art, etc. The main objective of many of the mods that were developed was to obtain this VSS through Valve being able to trust the group with it, thus create some more mods. Oh my god, that is huge! Whoa, well, literally huge. So, okay. So this was probably like their FTP or something. That makes sense. There's a lot of shit there. Holy God. Wow. That's pretty cool. And then SVN Master. This is just starting to be some of the code that we'd want to look at. And, ah, we have like F-stop and everything here. How to run README. Load the game via fstop.bat. Game is severely incomplete, but can possibly be used as a resource for better and bigger projects. Last known update sometime in February, March of 2020. Sweet. I don't know what this is going to do. I don't know what fstop is. Start source swarm.exe game fstop dev allow debug. Hmm. I wonder if there's a way to play windowed mode for, like, my recording purposes. I'm not entirely sure, and I don't want to find out by running it and ruining my recording. So I'm going to pause this, see if I can put it in windowed mode, and then we'll go from there. So I don't see a way to put it in windowed mode, and I don't really understand what it is because I couldn't get it to do anything except go past the uh, start menu. So. If I figure it out at a later date, I'll make another video. But here's the f-stop master source code, which I did not extract yet, but that's okay. Let's see. Ah, this is all explained. So, to log messages, how to use, interesting. And here is all the store, create f-stop, Create game project 2010, 2012, 2013. The actual game source code, the server source code, common stuff, dev tools, for example. There's a lot of cool stuff in here. DirectX 9 support and 10 support, very cool. Game engine stuff, that's black box. I did not mean to open that. That is okay. I wonder what version of Visual Studio they actually did all this on. Interesting. And then full. Here's Half-Life 2. Here's the file list. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So many. Anyway. Create all objects. I don't see how you actually open this in Visual Studio. Well, okay, I shouldn't say that. I do kind of, you probably drag and drop it. Ah, so if you want to actually mod the game, you need this stuff in the Steam console. Got it. Um, now that this info is public, I won't be surprised if that stuff vanishes. So get it while you can. Um, or find it from a third party download link if you want to get into any kind of modding. But very cool stuff. There's a create solution.bat, which I'll extract that real quick to see what the actual code of it is. 
Okay, so that makes the SLN. Got it. Which, that's what you use for actually, like, opening these files in Visual Studio. From what I've read, this, is, this stuff is pretty much straight compile and play. You can modify it all you want, and you can actually use it to play games, um, or play with modded source code, which is very cool. I will admit it. That's very cool. Now, was this supposed to end up public? No. But if somebody at Valve is giving out source code, they should eventually expect it to go public, especially to, from what I can tell, some ah, DirectX even 11 support even. Wow. But it should be just straight up expected eventually, because that's just what happens when, you know, you give stuff to people. So like Xbox source code, that's going to be really cool. There's going to be some cool projects that come out of this, I'm sure. And a lot of people probably sued or given cease and desist orders. And like I said, I'll be surprised if this video stays public for more than a week. So obviously there's a lot more here than uh, I was expecting. I'll be honest. I mean, 4.92 gigs, I was expecting a lot. But I don't even know how to begin with the actual source code because I haven't actually ever modded a Source Engine game. I've only ever done Lift Tech, Adobe Flash, and Unity 3D stuff. And then maybe some custom stuff, kind of like with Pixel Car Racer and things like that. But, you know what, I'm going to leave it right there, because it at least gets the word out there, and if you do want to download for these files and you made it this far into the video, you can head over to um, my site, uh, R Hacks Community, and in the uh, very bottom section of PC Modding and Hacks, there is a link for these files. So if you want to get them, they are on the site. Uh, link is in the description for the site. Just register and you'll be able to see the download links uh, in the actual section. So I'll talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, I do have one other thing that hackers leaked a long time ago that I might do another video on. I'll see how this video does and then we'll do it later. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.